Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So first of all, I just want to say, as a disclaimer type of thing, I do not trust YG. <laughs> I mean, if you follow me for a while, you already know that I have this, like, you know, love and hate relationship going on with YG. And when I say YG, I, I'm not talking about the men himself. I'm talking about the whole, you know, label. So the title of the video probably says, like, celebrating Blackpink's comeback uh, by recreating their looks, something like that, you know? And so I just want to say that I don't know whether it is happening or not because I've been a YG stand for a while so I know what to expect like I know better I'm just always skeptical and like perplexed I'm like are you sure though because you say that because they said a lot of things this time around they were like that was like this whole schedule plan I was like wait a minute <laughs> It's like from the bottom of my heart, I want to believe in that schedule plan. But then again, we've been played so many times already that we're like, mm, don't bullshit us again, please. <laughs> it's like we've been told many things in the past as well, which haven't happened yet. You know, like, <laughs> Rose is all. <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> but anyways, moving on. So today's video, you must have realized by now that the background is a lot different from what I usually have. This plant. I bought specifically for this video so that is commitment <laughs> so what I'm gonna do in today's video is, is I'm gonna try to recreate yeah it's literally the title oh my god I'm gonna be recreating some of Blackpink's look with the help of Fashion Single so Fashion Single is a website where they are creating you with some of the outfits and like clothes that you see idols wearing and so they contacted me a while ago asking me if I would be interested in a collab and I honestly thought this would be a challenge almost because I am not comfortable with showing anything else that is beyond this, you know? <laughs> this is my comfort zone. So I thought it would be a great challenge, you know, and just like have a video for you guys out there that is a bit different from what my usual content is like. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and let's just get started. So I chose five outfits to recreate in today's video. Most of them are, you know, wearable outside. I would say that I could potentially wear them outside without looking too weird you know because most of the time k-pop outfits are already just out there but thankfully here i chose most of them are just like you know casual outfits that you can wear every day except for one i would say one is very just ah you you can't you can only wear them during a chanel show if you know what i mean <laughs> also i just want to say i'm not going to be trying to be like blackpink because uh I, there's, there's actually no way i'm in doing it <laughs> like i'm no blackpink you know so this is also where I'm like, I need to find confidence in myself. Like there's no, there's no reason that I would compare myself to, you know, Blackpink, whatever. Blackpink is Blackpink, I am me and that's what I need to learn, you know. And I also need to tell myself that I don't need to be like Blackpink to like myself, if that makes sense. Oh my God, this is becoming real, really deep, real mm, <laughs> personal. All right, so first outfit I'm gonna try to recreate is Jisoo's outfit when they were touring in Europe. I believe this picture where she's wearing those clothes were in Stockholm? Did they even go there? Oh boy, this, my memory is just, it's whack. <laughs> so obviously you can buy them separately, the items, you know, but what Fashion Shinko is going to be doing on their website is that they're going to be presenting you the whole outfit so that if you want to buy them together, it is possible to do it like on the same page, you know. Now the shirt is slightly too big, in my opinion. I would have liked it to be slightly more tight. But otherwise, I find it so freaking cute. Call me extra if you want to, but I... Jisoo and Lisa are seen wearing this quite a lot so you know what i was like this is not the type of jewelry that i ever would wear but you know what let's buy it <laughs> i'm this type of fan who's like i'm gonna be buying the most useless thing ever for whatever reason and uh so yeah here it is <laughs> so my shoulders end here but like the shoulder pads are just starting only here on the shirt so i would definitely like size down next time i feel like this is fashion sense is definitely the one that is the easiest to recreate almost. She seems so approachable which is from her fashion sense is that if that makes sense. Most of the time she goes for something that is very feminine like a skirt or a dress with ruffles stuff like this. She also wears a lot of beret which is something that I have realized. We can also see on her Instagram she is often seen wearing just plain jeans and you know a t-shirt and something like that and she rocks it. Like she just have that aura that regardless of what she wears she's gonna be be looking incredible in it which I am jealous of not gonna lie Jisoo just looks to me like the girl that would be friends with anyone you know and her fashion sense really just gives me this vibe of I'm gonna be friends with everybody you know something that I wanted to add as well is that the skirt 
fits me perfectly, which I was very surprised because I have a little bit more of meat around here, you know, so. <laughs> also, yeah, don't be surprised. I'm gonna be flashing you a little bit, but this is not just a skirt, this is a skirt. So it comes with the, the you know, protection and shawl beneath it, which is like the most comfortable thing ever. You don't have to be aware, you know, of you know, if you want to like cross your leg or like if you want to, you know, sit down somewhere, you're you're not afraid of like flashing anyone. So it's so comfortable. All right, so let's move on to the next member. Next member is going to be Lisa. Again, I chose a picture from when they were touring in Europe and not just any city, Paris. I chose the outfits that she was wearing when she was visiting Le Champ de Mars in Paris with the Tour Eiffel, etc. Like, wow, that was just a lot of accents in one sentence. I would describe Lisa's fashion sense as definitely more casual, but like tomboy, but still feminine. It looks to me like most of the time, if she's the one choosing her own outfits, she would rather go for, you know, pants or like something that is more loose around the bottom. It definitely more hip hop street style, but why she is styled by the stylist, they love to give her like skirts or like really short shorts to, you know, really highlight her long legs, etc. So there's definitely like a big, contrast between the two styles that she can do. And so the item that I chose is this jacket, this red jacket that she's seen wearing in these pictures in Paris, etc. The rest of the outfits is mine, but I try to be like as close as possible as to what she's wearing, you know? Again, I'm choosing to keep this necklace because again, she's seen wearing it quite often. It kind of breaks apart this look because this look look very almost professional you know so i thought it would be fun to break this image a little bit with this more fun looking necklace which is something that she does quite a lot also excuse my cheap ass empty bag uh, here um uh, yes <laughs> All right, this is way too hot for the weather outside right now. <laughs> so let's move on. Next member is going to be Rose and Rose, oh my gosh, she is my best record. And I just love her style. Her style is, in my opinion, one of the most like girl next door vibe, which I freaking love. I love everything that she is wearing. She looks comfortable, but fashionable at the same time, which I don't know how it is possible because in my head, a lot of the things that are deemed fashionable are just so, impossible to wear and she makes it look so easy i don't know and so the outfit that i chose to recreate is one of my favorite of hers of all time it is one of her airport look i think airport looks just says a lot about a person you know if they style themselves like oh my god i freaking i feel like even fashion airport look or superior than any other looks i don't i don't know just that's just my opinion and this is going to be this blue dress with the ruffles etc it is asymmetrical at the end it's so freaking cute so i'm gonna be wearing this hopefully it is going to be looking okay also i'm back to blonde so my scalp knows what she's going through <laughs> Like, I feel her pain. Like, I don't know if she's being forced to, you know, keep that hair color. If she is like me, she, we, I mean, I personally just love myself a lot more when I'm blonde. It just gives me that much more confidence for whatever reason. So yeah, I just empathize with her scalp at the moment. <laughs> I am in love with this dress. This is so comfortable. The fabric is so freaking light. This is feminine yet very comfortable, which is, one of the most important thing in my opinion in fashion and what in what i like to wear all right and finally we have jenny which is in my opinion probably the most fashionable of the four but they all each have very different fashion sense to begin with so it's hard to compare each of them are very unique you know so jenny i would say is the most fashionable in the sense of like she wears designer clothes <laughs> which I cannot relate whatsoever. I think that's the reason why we put her in the same box as JD or CL, for instance. In each group of YG, there is one fashion queen or king, and she's definitely like in that, you know, line. In my opinion, she really has a fashion sense that it is very young, very modern, and it fits with the current trend. But not only does she like, you know, follow the trend, she also is a trendsetter. And you can tell that she's definitely interested in this whole fashion industry, etc. And I hope that in the future, she gets more opportunities like that, but like in other fields as well, not just like, I wear, but also, you know, clothing line, etc., bags, or like even shoes, I'm sure she would like kill it, you know? So yeah, I'm interested in what she has to offer in terms of like fashion in the future. So for Jenny, I chose two outfits of hers because, well, she is my bass and I really wanted to recreate both of those because in my eyes, they're quite like, 
telling of her fashion sense. So let me just start with the more casual one first, which is this one. This top, this green top, I've seen it everywhere. Everybody has been recreating this picture and I was like, I want it too. So <laughs> here it is. I'm gonna be able to, you know, uh, live my dream at the fullest right now. I love this shirt. I feel like this color is definitely one of the most trendy at the moment. I've never really liked green, but suddenly everybody has been wearing it. I'm like, oh wait, this actually kind of like looks cute. Out of all the outfits that I've tried today so far, this is probably the most casual one and probably the one that I would wear the most often. Also, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm wearing lenses and I'm wearing Jenny's lenses from Olin's as well. So I'm like, hey, I'm embodying everything right now. This top is just revealing enough so that you can see like almost all of my sternum tattoo here, which you don't really get to see often. <laughs> so it's kind of like, oh, it is quite high actually. So, you know, just, just be aware of this. I am quite, you know, small chested, so it doesn't stretch that much. But, you know, just, just keep that in mind. All right, and last but not least is the look that she was wearing when she was in Paris as well. You know, that iconic purple jacket with the, uh, what is it? It's like a big bow. I, look, I would never <laughs> personally wear this outside. It just screams, I am a celebrity, which I am not. <laughs> so, only very confident people would wear something like this. I'm not a confident person. I would go outside wearing all black, which is usually what I do. Colors is definitely out of my comfort zone. And the only moment where I really wear clothes, like colored clothes, is in the comfort of my own room, in front of the camera when I'm alone at home. Like <laughs> The thing is, when I go out, I don't want to, you know, people, I don't want people to look at me, which is like, I want to blend in, like, do not pay attention to me, please. <laughs> Says the girl who bleached and colors her hair. Yes. <laughs> I know, it's kind of like ironic. I don't want to, you know, be noticed, but at the same time, I bleach my hair crazy colors sometimes. But um, that's just how my brain functions, okay? Which is why I also do not go out because I don't want people to look at me anyway. So I'm just like staying at home. I just feel so good at home, you know? So yeah, that was much more personal than I initially intended it to be. <laughs> With that being said, let's just move on, you sure? <laughs> I look like an Easter bunny, but like a cheap one. <laughs> And it's not because of the quality of the fabric or whatever, it's just, it's something that I would never see myself wearing, like, never, basically, ever. Alright, so first of all, this top is really cute on Jenny. <laughs> I could see myself just wearing this at home and doing a Photoshop, like what, the Photoshop, a photo shoot, like what she did like a few weeks ago, you know, that I could see myself doing because it's fun, you know, it's something that is really just... It's not common to see a top like this. I honestly thought that those items would not feel of a great quality at first because, you know, when you see something that comes from, you know, made in China, you're like, uh, you're not quite sure. But those items feel so good. I'm not even kidding. And I, I buy a lot of things on AliExpress, which, um, yeah, I'm not really quite proud of, but you know, a girl is cheap, okay? <laughs> See, that's why I say when Jenny just makes everything look so high-end, and yes, what she's wearing is high-end, but her whole entire aura also just feels high-end, in my opinion. Like, she just looks and feels so, like, expensive, like, luxurious, you know? And I'm like, I cannot even stop to imagine what it feels like to be like that. <laughs> Alright, so this is the end of the fashion tingle part of the video. I just wanted to hop on that trend that everybody has been doing lately. You create an outfit based, inspired by an album. And I was like, it's not like I have a lot of Blackpink album to begin with. So <laughs> the choices are like, quite limited. I thought I would be taking this album and create an outfit based on this. Now, I don't have a lot of pink clothes because I don't know, I don't feel like pink suit me that well, so I'm just gonna have to rely on, you know, the black part of it, which black is the majority of my closet. So yeah, another thing that I bought because it was black pink are those little, <laughs> those barrettes because Lisa was wearing those in one of her pictures when they were in at Universal or something and I found those so cute. All right, so let me just explain a little bit my train of thoughts behind this look. So obviously black pink, 
with the skirt and everything. Uh, <laughs> this skirt was actually the skirt that I had planned on wearing to the concert in Paris if the weather allowed it. However, it was kind of chilly the day of the concert, so I had a backup plan. I had those like uh, cargo pants. I added this necklace because I was like, their image is really girl crush and everything, so it's very fierce. So the chains, but they also have a softer, sweeter side. So there's the heart here. So it's like, yeah, it makes sense. Does it? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I look like a mean girl. Do I look like a mean girl like this? I kind of do like look, look like a mean girl, do I? Mm. <laughs> this is also me trying to say, give us a full album, please. Like, I'm not even kidding. I We need it. This is time. This whole discussion about, you know, having finally a full album and actually having the girls having like a musical career going on stresses me out like so much. Like it shouldn't even stress me out so much, but yet here I am. You know, like I've lived 21's disbandment and the fact that they were robbed and everything, etc. So I don't want to be reliving it with Blackpink. And a lot of people are trying to, you know, reassure me that this is not going to be the same, etc. But then again, like, I want to believe in it. I want to trust you guys. And I want to trust YG to do the right decision, to take the right decisions, etc. But again, it goes back to what I was saying at the beginning. You know, I don't know if I can trust them. I wish the best to the girls, obviously. I only want the best for them. But I also want for the fans to actually have something to you know find girl find boy over if that makes sense i'm i'm tired <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this video i feel like i did okay ish like obviously i do not give out the same vibe as blackpink does but again i'm not trying to be blackpink i'm trying to be me wearing blackpink's clothes <laughs> so if you guys want to as well i will be leaving all the links that you need in the description box below thank you to fashion Tingu for sending me over all of those items they are really great quality they are much better than what i had expected them to be and also they are true to size again as i said i have quite a larger hip thigh region so <laughs> i was skeptical whether the skirts or like the dress would even fit me around that area but it did and it like really well even before like everything else you know you just need to be careful with the measurement and really just check everything before spending your money so it is true that a few of the articles here are quite pricey so while it is definitely a bit more expensive than you know aliexpress uh <laughs> it is a great alternative in my opinion i will also be posting pictures of the looks and everything on instagram so make sure to follow me on there i truly hope to see you guys during my reaction to blackpink's comeback if it turns out to be real if it turns out to be true i would be over the moon obviously and so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you soon bye bye